Are you a multi-site church? Yes, you are. No, we only have one site. Yes, you are. You ever see people say one church, multiple locations? How about this? One kingdom, many locations. <laughs> when people come and go from a church, like, well, I left this church. You never left. A You're still in the church. You're just serving a different location. So whoever's listening today, you're part of a very large multi-site that Jesus started and he will finish. Now, if you happen to be a congregation that has multiple sites, a really interesting question is, how do I, how do I inculcate culture across all of our campuses when we're spread out? Man, what a great question, but it's not just a question for multi-site, it's a question for all of us as we enter this new world of hybrid workplaces and people working virtually. How did you do culture when you couldn't meet together? That might be where you should start your question. How, when you weren't allowed to congregate, did you work with your staff on culture? If you didn't do that, then your staff's probably leaving right now and uh, you'll need to call us and hire us to help find new staff and you can do that. But you probably did something to work on culture. What did you do when you were virtual that you can make a part of your multi-site plan? Culture across multiple locations is not easy. It takes twice as much work. My friend Brian Miles, who started Belay, which is the very best virtual assistant company ever, wrote a book called Virtual Culture. Worth getting worth thinking about because he had to go build a culture with an entirely remote workplace. And he tells me he spends twice as much on culture as other companies his size because when you don't have common workspace together, you have to work that much harder to bring people together across multiple locations. So if you are multi-site, a congregation with multiple locations, go get a copy of Virtual Culture. Think about what you did when you were virtual during the pandemic. Start to apply and reapply those things and make a line item in your budget for culture, double what you think it should be, and then you can start working on spreading culture across long geographic distances.